Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this animated card to your Blogger website. So if I refresh this page, here we can see we have this animation for all these elements inside this card. Now if you want to learn how to create this design from scratch, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code to your websites. So let's get started. Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and you can add this design into a post or a page. So if you want to add it inside a page, you can just go over here to pages and then click on new page and add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But I will add it inside a post. So let's go over here to posts and let's click on new post. And let's add a title over here. So I'll just add animated card. Right now the first thing we need to do is we need to change this view into the HTML view. So by default it will be in the compose view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's add the code over here. Let's create a style tag to add the CSS. And let's go to our source code. And let's go to the styler CSS file and let's copy all this CSS from here. We can just copy from this line of code because these styles were for the body. So we had added the styles to make this design appear in the center. But in our blogger website, we don't need to have these lines of code. So let's start from here and let's copy it till here. And let's paste it inside this style tag. Right now let's paste the HTML. So let's go outside this style tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file and let's copy the HTML from here. So let's start from here and we'll copy it till the end of this script tag where we are referencing the GSAP library which we are using for the animation. So let's copy all of this and let's paste it over here inside our blogger post. And here we can see these are all the elements inside our design. So this is the heading. You can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. And this is the paragraph that we see over here. And then this is the button. You can change the text of the button over here. And then here we can see this is the image and the source is set to images forward slash one dot jpg. Now in our blogger website, we don't have this folder called images. So we have to first of all upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. So I'll just upload the image over here itself. So I'll just click on this button called insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And now let's click on choose files. And this is the image that we need. So let's click on open. And let's select this image and click on select. And let's select the original size and click on OK. So here we can see this is the code for the image and we need to get the link of the image. So the link is inside this href attribute. So let's copy from here till the end of the link. So let's copy it till here. And let's paste it over here inside this image source. Right, that's it with the link of the image. Now we can just delete this code. Right, now the last thing we need to add is the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And let's go back to our source code. And uh, here in the JavaScript file, we have all the code for the animation. So here we are using the GSAP library for the animation. So here we can see we are creating a GSAP timeline and in that we are adding these properties. So if we add from, then it will start from this property, which is Y negative 100 pixels. And then it will go to the styles that we have over here. So here we can see for the image, it goes from Y negative 100 pixels to the default, which is zero. And then we have this duration over here and then we have the easing. And you can go ahead and experiment with these values and adjust them to your needs. And we are doing the same for all the elements in our card. If you want to learn all of this, you can watch my previous video. All right, let's copy all of this from here. And let's paste it over here inside the script tag. All right now, let's publish this and click on confirm. All right, our post has been published. So let's click on view. And here we can see we have the animation for all the elements inside our card. Now we can see we don't have the correct color for these text. So here we have black color. But here we don't have the black color. So let's go back to our post. And let's add the black color over here. So I'll just add it inside the main container. So let's tap color and set it to black. Let's update it and let's see whether it works. So let's refresh this page. 
And now we can see we have the black color for the text and all the animation is working all right. So that's basically how you can add an animated card to your blogger website. Now if you go back to our post here we can see for the button we have an anchor tag. So you can just replace this hash with any link you want. And whenever the user clicks on this get info button, they'll be taken to that particular page. Alright, so that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.